Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the real distance between two points on a map which is drawn to scale. So let's have a look at the first example here. So the accurate scale drawing shows three towns. So we've got to work out the real distance between A and B in kilometres. And the scale on the map is 1 to 50,000. So the first thing I'm going to do then is measure the distance between A and B with a ruler. So the distance between A and B is 6.1 centimetres. So that is the distance between A and B on the map. So to get the real distance then, we need to multiply the 6.1 by 50,000. So the reason for this is because one unit on the map is 50,000 units in real life. So our next step then is to times that 6.1 by the 50,000. So if I just get a calculator to do that, so 6.1 times 50,000. So that gives us 305 now since we measured the line in centimetres this answer here will come out in centimetres so we now need to just convert this answer back into kilometres so first of all then I'd like to convert it into metres first by dividing it by 100 because there's 100 centimetres in a metre so if we divide that by 100, we get 3050. And then we can change the metres into kilometres by dividing by 1000, because there's 1000 metres in a kilometre. So that will give us 3.05 kilometres, and that's the final answer. So let's have a look at one more example then. So the distance between two other towns on a map is measured as 8.4 centimetres. So if the scale is 1 to 200,000, work out the real distance in kilometres. So again, the distance on the map between our two towns is 8.4 centimetres. So if we multiply that by 200,000, that will give us the real distance between the two towns in centimetres. So 8.4 times 200,000. So that is coming out as quite a big number. So it's 1,680,000. So that is in centimetres, that answer, because the distance was measured in centimetres. So like the last one, first we've got to change it into metres and then into kilometres. So to get that answer in metres, we divide it by 100. So that has given us 16,800. And then the final step is to divide it by a thousand to get it into kilometers. So that would be 16.8 kilometers. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.